Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I'm going to show you how to create a recessed frame in your card making. And I have a couple different ways that you can do this. Plus, I will show you how to use the leftover scraps that you end up with from creating these frames. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two different card ideas that I want to share with you, which feature a recessed frame. It's a very simple technique, and you can create the recessed frame look with any die shape that you have on hand. Now, the cards in this video feature the Magical Meadow stamp set from Stampin' Up! And this particular stamp set comes in a bundle, so that means there is a coordinating die set as well. We will also be using the deckled rectangle dies, and these particular dies are layered dies, so it makes it perfect for creating this recessed frame look. So for the cards I'm sharing today, we are using three different size dies. It's the third, fourth, and fifth die in this particular set, and so we will use it to create these different frames, and then we will also use one of the dies to create a focal point um, just using the leftover scraps. Okay, so let's talk about how to create the recessed frame look. So basically this frame has a smaller inside and the more layers you add, the larger the frame gets. So you start with the small frame on the inside and then notice you have a larger frame on the outside. So it's kind of gives it that recessed look. So I am using the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper uh, to create my frame because I thought that this particular paper had just a beautiful image in it that I really wanted to capture as like a picture. So this particular piece is cut at three and a half by four and a half. And the reason I did that is I just wanted to give myself a little bit of wiggle room to make sure I could fit this in the frame. So that is the piece of designer paper. Then I have two additional pieces. So these will be the layers that we will create the frame with. So I'm just using a piece of designer paper for my top frame. So this piece is four by five and a quarter inches. And then this other piece is just a piece of black cardstock. And I cut it at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth inches. So I cut it just a little bit smaller than this piece so that I had a little bit of wiggle room to line up the frames. Okay, so we're going to start with our designer paper and our black cardstock. And I'm using two dies um, that are basically next to each other as far as layering goes. So this would be die four and five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the larger die on my designer paper and I'm gonna use the smaller one on the black cardstock. So when you look at the card, the larger frame is going to be used on here and then the smaller one on the black cardstock. So that's gonna give you that recessed look. So I'm going to start by cutting my larger one. So basically you just run this through your embossing machine to cut out this shape and it'll create this little piece here which you're going to save to create um, a second card. I'm going to show you how to use up the scraps and this is the frame that we're going to use for this card. So the next thing I'm going to do is just take my black card stock and put it behind this frame and then I'm going to lay this die, the smaller die, on here just to kind of give myself an idea. And I'm going to run this through the embossing machine so that I can cut this black center out of the black cardstock. Okay, so we'll just remove this black center piece. And again, save this piece because you can use these two die cut pieces, the, the two rectangular die cut pieces to create another card. So we're gonna focus on the frame here. So. Notice how the larger one, when it goes over this smaller one, you get just a really nice black frame. And in order to recess it, we just need to pop this up with some dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to start kind of working from the inside out. 
So we're going to start with our piece of designer paper that has the little image on it. And I'm going to start with this black piece of cardstock that I die cut that shape into. So I added some dimensionals on the back and I'm basically just going to line up my little image inside this frame. And so that's what it'll look like. And I'm going to just add a couple more dimensionals just over here. I'm not gonna add it on the designer paper. Okay, so now we have, um, we have our deer in the frame. So the next thing we're gonna do is take that other frame and I've already added some dimensionals to it. So this is the larger frame. And we're just gonna go right over the top of this one and add this frame. So you want to add the dimensionals so that you get that depth and dimension. So you get that recessed look. And so that is what it will look like. Just very simple and it just gives you that look of a beautifully matted picture. So once you have everything adhered, then you just add some glue to the designer paper and you already got the dimensionals down there and you just pop this up on a card front. So I'm just using Smoky Slate for the base of my card. And that is really it. You can see all the layers on the side here. You can see that I have two layers and it just gives it a really fun look. So now you can just add your greeting. And for this card, I just did a little bit of heat embossing. So I have a winter wishes um, little banner here. And I'm just going to tuck this right inside kind of in between the two layers and then pop it up over on that side. So that's it, that's how simple that is. And so you can embellish it with whatever you want. I just really wanted to show you the concept for creating this recessed look. Okay, so this next card idea just kind of does the opposite with those little shapes. It, instead of recessing them, we're gonna pop them up um, from the largest to the smallest. So the other one, we popped it up from the smallest to the largest. This one will be from largest to smallest. <laughs> so you will see how it works. All right, so we're going to start with a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock for the base of the card. And then I just did a little bit of embossing. I took a three and three quarter by five inch piece of white cardstock and I just embossed it with the Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder. And so that's just gonna go on the front of the card. And then we're gonna use up these leftover die cut shapes. So these were the shapes that I created when I made the recessed cards. So I'm just going to leave those there. And I created a third shape with the next smallest die. So I just cut out the little deer from the piece of designer paper and I'm going to put this right on that black piece of cardstock. So we'll adhere that one. And then I'm going to pop up this next one. Then I'm just going to add a couple dimensionals here. So I'll adhere these two layers. So I'm giving it just a little bit of depth and dimension. And you can pop up this last one or you can just adhere it flat. I'm just going to adhere it flat. And I'm going to adhere it off to the left side of the card front because I'm going to add a greeting on the other side. So I just stamped a greeting using some black memento ink on, on the same color cardstock as the card base. So that's smoky slate. And then I cut it out with one of the stylish shapes dies just to kind of create this fun little stitched banner and just popped that up on the card. And then I just added a couple classic matte dots just to kind of finish it off. So that is what our card looks like when we use up the scraps. So here are our two cards the one with the recessed frame, and then the one where we used up scraps. So two fun cards, very easy to make. Now you can make these in portrait style like I did here, but you can also make them in landscape style and you can really use 
any supplies that you have on hand. I just stuck with the Winter Meadow designer series paper, but it works with any designer series paper. Here I just changed out the colors, and then here is the card I created with the leftover scraps from creating this frame. So you might notice that the frame is a little bit larger. So instead of using two dies that were directly next to each other, I actually didn't use this middle one. I used a slightly smaller one. So it gave me a little bit larger frame. So if you use these two dies together, it gives you a smaller matting around your frame. And if you just use a slightly smaller die, it'll give you a larger frame. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two different ways that you can use the recessed frame look in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.